Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and I just wanted to provide some commentary here at the beginning of the video. I'm not going to be speaking for the entirety of the video, but this is one of my Adam Mant toy speed kills. One of the super bosses in Final Fantasy XV, the one that's supposed to take three days to kill. Yeah, not even three in-game days at this point. So when I first fought this boss, it took me about 70 to 75 minutes. Really had no idea what I was doing, fighting the camera, figuring out where the best places to hit him were, and I was only level 81. Uh, now I'm back, I'm level 99. I am using the Zwill Cross blades as my go-to weapon and to be honest I could still be dealing a little bit more damage here uh, my sub equips aren't that optimal I should have maybe Ulrich's daggers equipped for a little bit more attack power I'm eating 80% crit food I believe these are zoo skewers 80% uh, crit so almost all of my attacks pretty much are going to crit when you're watching here so just be ready for the flashing over and over again and the basis of the strategy is to use Ignis's enhancement ability to do your best. It's a little bit of RNG to determine how quickly you actually manage to land a kill. But your goal is to get him to give you one of each elemental buff. One fire, one ice, one lightning. If you don't get it, you just kind of got to deal with it. And when you get three bars again, try to get all three stacked up. And then on top of that, using uh, muscle stimulators, which I just noticed while I'm watching this that I'm not using right now. I could have shaved like another minute off of this kill if I had to remember to use them right here. And then after you have all the enhancement buffs, you have the Muscle Stimulator or the Power EX, whichever one you end up using, you just go to town on the Adamantoys. Now, I do have the infinite HP trick done in this video. Right now, you're not seeing me use it because at the beginning of the fight, it's really best to just try and build the combos up. But one thing that I noticed that you can do on the Adamantoys that helps speed up the kill quite a bit, especially if you have the infinite HP trick done, is you can lock on to a body part, and you're kind of seeing me do it there before I stagger him. You can lock on to like his tail from in front of his leg, or you can lock on to the far por uh, portion of his front leg and keep warp striking. You won't warp strike through his his uh, hand. What am I calling it? his flipper? You won't. What what is it with turtles? Oh, whatever his his hand. I'm gonna stick with hand. You'll basically be warp striking to the opposite end of his hand, but you won't actually pass through. You'll get the warp strike damage bonus from doing that, from locking onto the far section but and then warp striking to it, but not actually warp striking to it. So that can actually increase your damage a lot because it gives you like a four to five times warp strike boost. And that pretty much leads you to do 10,000 damage per warp strike. And if you have the infinite HP MP trick that I posted a video of the other day, uh, then you can just do that infinitely. And it's 20,000 damage a second approximately because of how quickly the Zwill crossplays actually execute their attack. Once you break his hand, though, you're going to get the little animation, his head falls to the ground, and if you do this properly, I'm actually, again, I could have shaved another minute, maybe two minutes off this fight, but I'm actually, I lost buffs in the middle of this, uh, of this knockdown phase, and on top of that, I didn't go into the knockdown phase with all of my buffs active. Uh, I can definitely label a bunch of places where I could have saved time, and I may upload an even faster kill the Adamantois, but hopefully some of these things give you a good idea of what you can do, even if it's your first kill on the Adamantois. I highly recommend recommend making use of Ignis's enhancement uh, enhancement ability right there. Definitely use muscle stimulators or power EX items to raise your strength. And crit food, I feel, is probably the best food to go here. I tried it with the 400 attack food, and I guess if you're going for that warp strike strategy, which you're going to see me I probably try to do again here in a second, then maybe that works. But I mean, you should be hitting for 10,000 damage anyway with this Will Crossblades at full health with the warp strike trick. Warp strike trick anyway. So uh, this is just a speed, uh, speed kill. I believe the actual time it clocked in at was like 14 minutes and 8 seconds or 14 minutes and 9 seconds. I definitely think I can get this down to 10 minutes, maybe even under 10 minutes because I screw up a lot at the very, very end of the fight. I could have ended it a whole lot quicker than I ended it here. But anyway, I'm going to let the commentary go. We have about 10 minutes more of me beating on this Adamantois, and hopefully it gives you some ideas about how to approach either speed killing the Adamantois for yourself or uh, just killing the Adamantois, maybe, if you haven't beaten them yet. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. Enjoy the rest of it, and uh, hopefully I'll have an even faster kill coming to you soon. Uh, until next time, take care.
resistance. Got you. No one missed your nice guy. Out there, 
big guy. This ought to give you an edge. Thanks. Two options. Magnus! Here. This ought to give you an edge. Thanks. Hey, Magnus! Instructions! Here. This ought to give you an edge. by eating something dead <sighs> we actually did it piece of cake huh <laughs> after an infinite regression we arrived at an answer the turtles all the way down <laughs> <laughs> 